everybody, it's Chris Silvey with HealthyConsumer.com and let's talk about aging for a couple minutes. So what do you think of when you hear the term aging? Do you think of some of the buzzwords in the industry like antioxidants and free radicals and things like that? And that's why it's starting to become uh, ever increasingly important to think about nutrition and think about diet. Um, I'm just going to grab a definition here from this study about aging. Aging is a complex, multifactorial process characterized by accumulation of deleterious change in cells and tissues, progressive deterioration of structural integrity and physiological function across multiple organ systems, and increased risk of death. And isn't that really depressing? I promise if you stick with this video for a couple minutes here, there's some good news at the end of it. So let's dive right into it. So perhaps you've heard of antioxidants and free radicals as well. And when we're, we're talking about the two, we're looking for a balance where these antioxidants would outweigh some of the free radicals found in our body. So free radicals can be produced for a, a variety of reasons. And one of the big reasons is from what we put in our mouth. There's been a particular interest in a type of macromolecule related to this whole process of antioxidants and free radicals. And those are known as advanced glycation end products, so or age for short. And and one of the one of the questions that is being looked at right now and is pretty well established in the literature uh, at this point is do these ages contribute to accelerated aging in the human body? So it kind of ties back to what we we're talking about in the beginning there. And it seems that the answer is yes. Now I, I think there's an overwhelming amount of evidence and I've put all my sources in the, uh, in, in the description there, so go ahead and take a look at those if you really want to delve into the mechanism of this whole thing. We're not going to look at that here. I just want to give you a couple practical tips on how you can reduce your exposure to these because we don't want to be eating a lot of these. And when we look at the Western uh, diet, it is, it is surpassing the recommended value of ages greater than three times. Um, just just in one day and, and if you're eating this day in and day out that's a real problem and it can lead to a lot of health problems so I want to give you a couple practical tips on how you can reduce these now meat contains one of the highest volumes of advanced glycation end products in addition to other things such as uh, processed um, processed meats especially um, certain types of cheeses the crust on breads um, but really a lot of it comes down to not the what, but the how. How are we preparing these foods is going to drastically determine your exposure to ages. So one of the first things we want to look at is decreasing the temperature at what we cook. When we take foods over 300 degrees, and especially above 500 degrees, so broiling is a real problem for the formation of these advanced glycation end products, we end up with a lot of these other components like the polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons and the heterocyclic amines, which you can, you can Google those and look at those a lot and you'll, you'll see how, how nasty those can be at high temperatures. So when you hear about grilling and the char and, and the way that the, the fat drop, drops off the grill and you get that splashing back effect, that's, that's contributing to the formation of all three of these macromolecules. So we really want to try and cut the temperature down. We want to try and also grill less when we can. I'm not saying completely avoid it. But we want to look at the methods that what we're at what the way that we're cooking. So, decreasing temperature would be one. Cooking slower over a longer period of time. On the flip side, it's hard because increased time can also increase the formation of these. Um, but temperature seems to be the primary factor at at uh, the formation of these advanced glycation end products. And then also. If you are going to eat meat, one of the things that you want to try and do is marinate it in something like a lemon, an acidic medium, um, like a lemon marinade or some type of vinegar marinade, or try and cook it in a liquid. So boiling still will form these, but not as much. And if you look at things like slow cookers, um, that's probably a better bet than just dry heat on a food substance. In summary, we really want to try and reduce our exposure to these advanced glycation end products or the ages um, because it does contribute to aging, accelerated aging, and there's a lot of evidence out there for that now. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe to my channel 
hit the like button below, and visit our website at www.healthyconsumer.com. Thanks a lot, and you have a great day.